here I am. You can't tell, <laughs> but I'm inside my room. That's quite messy right now. But before we get started, let's change to something more appropriate to go on our adventure in the outdoors. <laughs> well, there we are. Something a little better. All right. Now, just so you have an idea of my plan. So my original plan was to build some rapport with this North American hominid. And last year, winter, I figured out where they were staying during winter. At least I know a group there. Hopefully it's the group that I've been interacting with most of the, the warmer months. And the goal was to initially build rapport, interact with them in an area that was kind of like a neutral, neutral area for me and for them. It's their hunting grounds, it's where there's a lot of people. So I hope that I wouldn't be getting too close to their quote unquote territories. Like I felt when I was going into the canyons where they stayed during winter. So uh, as you can see here, there's something gonna be displayed probably a canyon or forest or whatever I'm talking about will be seen behind me to help you out <coughs> so we get to the the end of this uh, period of warm seasons and starting to be winter now and the next goal was that I hypothesized if I could establish good relationships with them in the summer in an area where we could build rapport that when I went to areas where they felt more secure that were more I felt their their home base that they'd be more willing to be more bold and show themselves because we had formed a connection and a bond well <laughs> as you can see here I started my trek hanging up there you know I had all my gear ready and I made all the way up to this hill that, you know, it's, it's a steep hill, but normally it would take me maybe 15 minutes, but it took me probably over an hour. Yeah, I, it was a lot of weight and it just came to the realization that I just wasn't in shape. Well, I decided that the system's not gonna work. It was painful coming up here with all the gear in my pack. And a big part of it is that I'm just not, I didn't condition, you know, I physically did not prepare for this. Mentally and emotionally I did, but <laughs> physically I did not. I just, you know, I've been preparing so much, uh, you know, learning the skill sets for videography, the, 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 finding the resources and working to get the gear, you know, and just training myself up for this. But I lacked in the physical department, so I had to come back down. So what I'm going to be doing is making videos like this until I can recover from being hurt and build up the uh, the strength and conditioning to go back out there. Yeah, sure, it's been pretty frustrating, but it is what it is, and I just have to I just have to accept it. With that said, we're going to talk about places to look. For the North American hominid, at least places that I first speculate on based off of the information I've been gathering, and then went to these areas and actually found evidence that helped with the hypothesis that this was the areas where they like to roam. So I'm going to pick out a area, an area uh, north of here, uh, off of Mount Hermon Road that has similarities that I've been finding here and where I've been finding signs of this hominid creature. So, if you start looking behind me, we can see like a map of the area and I'm gonna be zooming in. And you can see the area that I'm zooming in too. And what you'll notice that it's on the front range. It's right on the front range where you have a lot of steep foothills going to the west and then below it you have more flat open spaces with a lot of uh, brush in between that eventually goes to urban environments. And these areas are perfect to hide in, to move through without being detected. They're not very perfect for us because it's really inconvenient going through that dense vegetation. 
but for these hominids and other species of animals, it's a perfect and suitable place for to find cover, concealment, and shelters. So areas that, that are perfect to look into are going to be areas where there's flat areas, whether that be you know just a flat area entirely with a lot of brush, or on a steep slopes with micro terrain where it's flat enough for something to lay down as large as let's say you know, this hominid species. So areas you're gonna to wanna to look are gonna be something like this. And what you're looking for is obviously the environment that I just spoke of, where you have a lot of brush, a lot of foliage, but you also have sporadic large trees. And in this area, it's gonna be large pine trees, which is a key. It's been a key factor so far. So what you're gonna be looking for is a lot of tall brush and a large trees sporadically in there. Not like a huge forest of trees, just sporadically large pine trees in this brush. And that's going to reveal, at least for me, it's so far revealed this is a perfect place where they get cover from both up top and a way for, and an escape route, a way to look up for a vantage point or maybe for the young to go up that big tree. At the same time, they have a brush all around them which gives them cover concealment. And not only that, it also lessens the exposure to the elements like wind. So looking areas like that, you might find the stick breaks and those big depressions that look like nests. So these, these characteristics on the terrain and the environment have so far yielded some pretty great results. So let me know what you think. Obviously this is my first time making a video like this using a green screen and well, if you have any questions let me know for more content eventually like i said i want to get back out i want to get back out there but until then i'll just be making short little videos like this on small little tidbits um, hopefully they'll get better organized i know i kind of just rambled on all over the place and i'm doing it right now but yeah ask me any questions uh i'll go into more details stuff like that, for, uh, ideas for next videos. Until you can get out into the field, this is what I'll be doing. Thanks, subscribe and uh, stay tuned in. Bye.